Hi guys, Carbujea here. In my last video I started testing the PCB robot, which managed to move straight, but at a very slow rate. The conclusion was that to make it go faster, I either have to reduce the weight of the battery, or select a battery with the same weight but with a higher discharge current rating. But in the meantime I think I came up with another idea of how I can reduce the weight of this robot. The reason why I decided to have four legs on this robot is to make it omnidirectional. So theoretically it can move forward, backwards or sideways, without the need of reorienting itself. So what if we sacrifice some functionality to save a little more weight? Okay, so my theory actually worked. Reducing the weight of the robot made it go faster, and the legs also reacted much better. Instead of small vibrations, this two-legged configuration is creating a galloping motion for the 5 and 10 Hz. This is a huge improvement, but I think I can make it a little bit better. The front part of the robot is now resting on one small point that is forming two axes of rotation. Now most of the robot's weight is in the middle, but ideally it would be concentrated on these two points over here. But practically that doesn't make any sense, and the distance from the pivot would also be very short to provide an effective turning force. So what if we bring the pivot a little bit lower? This way we would increase the turning distance, and also let the robot rotate most of its mass. I am running this test with a 10 Hz driving frequency, and the software is changing between three different locomotions. When it's oscillating one leg, the coils are creating a turning force around the new pivot, and the resultant moment is propelling the robot forward. To turn the robot around, I'm driving the two legs out of phase, which is combining the two turning motions. The location of the battery and the pivot are not very accurate because both of these were glued in place. So it's not 100% balanced, but it's almost moving straight. So from the results of this test, I can say that the robot can move this way and this way, and also rotate around. I think I can also make the robot move forward by powering both legs at the same time, but I can only do this with a higher current rated battery. But for now it can also go forward by making a zigzag. I was also thinking of using one of these metallic doom switches for the next prototype to act as the pivot, and maybe even act as the power switch of the robot. The downside of using a two-legged robot is that it needs to waste energy to turn around. But hey, it works and no matter what battery I choose to go with, it's always going to be one gram lighter than the four-legged configuration. So this way I can also use a battery with a higher capacity. I'm very curious to see how the four-legged robot reacts if I add a similar pivot. But I think I still require a better battery alternative for that configuration. Once I receive the batteries, I will make a clear comparison of videos between the two different configurations. Until then, I'm going to start working on the Bluetooth step to try and control the robot wirelessly. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any updates.